Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Kim Zatani. I'm a senior director at Hotwire Communications. We are so excited to add Century Village to our family of properties. And today we're going to do a couple of things. So first, I want to do a little housekeeping. So on the table in front of you, you have a rate sheet and a channel lineup. If you'd all grab one of those, because we're going to talk about them today. And there's also an index card, and I apologize, uh, pens. So we had pens on every table, and the 10 o'clock crew uh, took them home with them. So uh, we're limited on pens, so if you share and leave the ones that are there again. Uh, so those cards will be used for questions. So if during the presentation, you know, you have a question, write it down. The team will collect them at the end, we'll read off the questions, and we have the right team in place to answer them. Uh, so we're not gonna take any questions during the presentation, and it's quick, it's like five, six screens. It, we're gonna talk about what's coming, what's happening, and who the heck is Hotwire, and what are you getting, right? What does it mean for you? Before I do, I want to introduce a few people because it's important that you know your Hotwire family. Uh, Andre, Fernando, and Keith, if you could step up. Well, so there's your leadership team. Uh, tall guy in the blue, that's Andre. Fernando is his manager behind him. Keith is my manager and he handles the consultations. And if you want to introduce your team members that are in the back. Absolutely. Thank you, Kim. Um, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Andre Campos. I am the director of launch account management. Alongside Fernando, Amari in the back, and Thais, who is on the other side. Um, we will be overseeing the launch of Center Village with Hotwire Communications. Our goal is just to make sure that you have a seamless transition. So we will be doing everything in our power to make sure that we accomplish this. I am going to pass it along to Keith. Thank you so much. Uh, I like you. Energy. How you doing, everyone? My name is Keith Thomas. I'm the manager for the New Launch Concierge. So my team is actually in your home doing your actual in-person consultations. So some people you will see in your home, those are two of our managers right there. That is Greg Hayden and Bettina Ferguson. They're actually will be talking to you in your home during your consultations. One thing that separates Hotwire versus our competition I can share is AT&T Comcast would never send individuals out to your home on an individual basis to tailor this amazing services your board uh, neg negotiated for you guys. So just know we're here to serve you, nothing more, nothing less. We appreciate you. Hello, everyone. You're getting much more response than Andre. I guess it did better. <laughs> My name is Fernando Perez. Uh, I've been with Hotwire for quite some time. My team, as uh, Andre mentioned, is gonna be on site. We are actually building an office on site for, for you in case you have any questions, you wanna come see us bring them coffee, if anything. Um, and we wanna make sure that everything goes well during the installation, before the installation, during the installation, and even after. Uh, something that also distinguishes us from everyone else. We do have a team of educators that are, Carla is the manager. The educators will do. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so, good afternoon. And the education team, once the install is complete, will come into your home and show you the platform, the tips, the tricks, any questions that you may have um, to be able to use your TV system better. So that's what we're all here to do to make sure that your install all goes great. Thank you everyone. Thank you. Thank you. So how exciting is that, right? We're just not giving you a cable box and saying, here you go, right? Listen, we're not reinventing the wheel, right? We're not saving lives. We're hooking up your cable and your internet, but our goal is to provide a seamless, outstanding uh, experience. Are we going to make mistakes? Yes. Are we gonna own those mistakes and fix them? Yes. So you will have a team here through the whole launch process, whether they're the consultations, once the installs start, uh, Fernando and Andre's team will have people on site here to handle that. So without further ado, 
who the heck is Hotwire? Right? So Hotwire is a privately owned telecommunications cable company owned by Kristen and Michael Karp. We are the number one private owned, privately owned cable company in the United States. Uh, is that me? No? Okay. Uh, I thought I left my phone on, sorry. Uh, so we are the largest privately held provider of communication services right now in the United States. We have properties, Georgia, all over Florida. We're in Tampa, Jacksonville, Southwest Florida, Miami. Our headquarters is in Fort Lauderdale on Cypress Creek Road. Uh, we are in Texas. We are in Georgia. We are in California. We are getting in Vegas. Arizona, Pennsylvania, we're everywhere. So we are growing leaps and bounds, and you're part of our family now. So why Hotwire? Why did your community sign up with Hotwire? It is state-of-the-art fiber to the home. Fiber is light. It's a superior service rather than your old coax cable which is antiquated and not as fast. We feel that we offer superior customer support. Look at us here, right? There are no secrets here. We're here to support you through it all and you'll get more support information as I move forward today. Our call centers are staffed 24 seven here in the United States. We have an office in Pennsylvania. We have another one in Florida. We provide personal attention and service through a one-on-one -on -one consultation. As you know, what your needs and your questions are are totally different than your needs and your questions. We cannot say to everybody at Century Village, okay, you're all gonna get this and you can't get anything else and this is the way it is and there's no, there's no changes. You have questions, right? Everybody has questions and what your questions are. We want to sit down with you through your consultation, go over the services you are gonna get, and then customize the experience for you. Talk about next steps, answer your questions, and make you feel great about the experience. We have a dedicated launch account management team. Through the whole process, our technicians when they come in to start installing, will be assigned to this property, right? It'll be a team of installers and they work here through launch. We have our education. So once you get your service installed, Carla's team, and I'm sorry, I forgot you, Carla's team is gonna step in and show you how to use it, answer your questions. Can be done on Zoom, can be done individually, one-on-one, -on -one. Uh, we're going to make sure that you're comfortable with the services that you're getting. Our network operations center is on Cypress Creek Road. It is uh, rated for a Category 5 hurricane, and it's banned 24-7. If you lose service, we know it before you do. And that is also staffed 24-7. So what's the timeline, right? Construction is ongoing, it's going on right now. You see our guys out digging in this heat. Oh my God, uh, it's hot, right? One-on-one -on -one consultation. So a little update on consultations. And so we have five different communities here, right? Uh, we were told, that we're, so we were gonna release it by sections. First section was gonna be Guilford. So we started the consultations in Guildford. Then last week I heard that Hythe was cutting in, gonna move in with Guildford for installations. So we started Hythe. And then I found out earlier this week that all five communities will be released at once for installation. So what that means is that our launch center is waiting for construction to release the properties and then we are going to start installing probably right after Labor Day. Uh, our focus right now is on our year-round residents because 
we want to get all of you that are here full time installed first because we all know what's going to happen in November. They're all going to come back, right? We won't be able to go to restaurants. We won't be able to eat out, right? We have to take advantage of what we have. And if we have to suffer in the Florida heat, let me be first to get installed. So that's what's going to happen. You're going to get installed first. And we know who you are. So what happens during a consultation and why do you have to have it, right? Again, it gives us the opportunity of having that one-on-one -on -one conversation with you. We're going to ask you to give us a statement, if you have a statement, with your current provider. We want to make sure that we are providing you whatever you have today. So that when Hotwire is hooked up, you have the same services. We're going to answer any questions that you have, right? And we're going to talk about the included services, the channels, and the equipment. So remember the papers that I told you that are on the table? So let's start pulling them up and taking a look at it. The first sheet is the rate sheet. And on the upper left-hand corner, it has included services. Right? Everybody see those? Right? Everybody got it? Included services, upper left. The other left. You got it? <laughs> so it tells you that you get uh, Vision TV digital favorites. So now I want you to go to the channel lineup. And if you look at the channel lineup that I have here, it has digital favorites. Every channel under digital favorites is included. All of those channels. You also get HBO. So if you turn over your channel lineup under premium channels, you'll see all the HBO channels that are included. And you also get HBO Max, which is a streaming service. That is also included. I think it's on, on page one, HBO. No, no. So where are you looking? Yes, if you look under the premium channels, the first group is HBO. Do you see them? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. That's on the bottom. Turn it over. And it says premiums a la carte. Do you see that? HBO is the first column. All those HBO channels are included. Sorry. In addition, you get HBO Max. Max is not on there, but it is part, whenever you have HBO, Max is not on there, because it's not a channel, it's a streaming service, which we'll talk about streaming in a few minutes. So it's not gonna show on there, but anytime you have HBO, you automatically get HBO Max. Now they just call it Max. You're going to get 100 hours of cloud DVR with Vision TV Plus. If you need more than that, you can talk to your representative during your consultation. You get three HD boxes. So to get all of these channels, you need a box, right? Every box will come with a remote control. And that remote control will be voice also. So you can flip the channel or you can talk into it. Right? You can say CBS. It'll take you to CBS. HBO. It'll take you to your HBO channels. Right? So it'll take you to all of that. Internet speed. You're going to get 300 over 300. That's 300 megs up, 300 megs down for the techies in the room. And you're going to get one Eero Pro 6E device. Anybody know what an Eero Pro is? Because I didn't have a clue. No. So here is an Eero device. So right now with Comcast, you all have uh, a box, right? So for your internet, right? It's a router. We are going to install when we come to your house. Our installer will install an optical network terminal. Looks like this. 
This is the brains, right? All of your boxes will be wireless. Wireless. The only wire will be from the box to the TV. Wireless. So, we're going to install in each home an Eero device. This is your Wi-Fi. So what is Wi-Fi? That is your laptop, your iPad, anything that's not wired right to the wall. This works like a donut. So what does that mean? You want to have it, and the technician, when he comes into your home, is going to walk through your house, and he's going to have the conversation with you. But this needs to be put somewhere in the central so that it works all the way around. You don't want to put it up against the wall, because then you only get this, right? It does about 1,500 to 1,600 square foot. That's what we estimate. Sometimes it's more. It really depends on the layout of your home. If you have a mirrored wall, right, this sometimes has difficulty going through. When you do your consultation, your representative will speak to you. 99% of the homes here, one year is gonna be fine. It will, it will give you your Wi-Fi service. Write down your question. No, it does not go near, near the TV. It doesn't have anything to do with it. It just gets placed centrally located and it gives you Wi-Fi throughout your house. It will work the TVs. Uh, it'll work your, your TV boxes because your TV boxes are also wireless and dependent on them. Okay, somebody help me. Where? I picked up the arrow and dropped my clicker. And that was the end of that. Is it white? Maybe it's in your is it white? Is it white? It's a test. I have a prize for anybody that wins it. It's next to the projector. Ah, look at this. Where? Right next to the other. No, that's not it. It's black. Where'd it go? Oh, look at that. No. Yeah, you're prize. Sorry about that. So then the next step, so let's go back here. Right, so we're gonna go through that, we're through the equipment that you're going to get, we're gonna look at your statement, and then we're gonna ask you about optional services. Do you have a home phone, right? Do you wanna keep a home phone? It's totally up to you. If you wanna keep a home phone and you wanna bring it to Hotwire, we have a great promotion for you, and we'll discuss that with you. We do not handle, at this time, cellular service. So what's the next steps? Right? Next step is going to be the installation. So once the property is released, our launch team will start calling everybody to schedule installation of services. You have to be home, right? You got it. You're going to plan on three to four hours for a technician to be in your house, right? So when they call to discuss installation, have your little calendar books ready, right? So we can uh, we can handle that. If you're not going to be here, right? If you're one of the lucky ones that's going to get out of town in the month of September and you know head for some mountain resort where it's cool, uh, you know we will schedule you for when you come back. If you're a seasonal customer, we're asking them to call us one to three weeks before they do come back to coordinate it all. Uh, so let's talk about streaming services. So for those that don't know what's a streaming service, I'm talking about Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, YouTube TV, streaming services. Those are services that you pay for separately directly to those streaming organizations. So, <coughs> excuse me, you also have Wi-Fi in your house right now, right? So when you open up your laptop and you send pictures of your kids or you do shopping for Amazon, you're on Wi-Fi, right? It's wireless. When the technician comes in your house, he's going to disconnect your Comcast equipment 
He's going to leave it in a nice little pile on your table. We'll talk about that in a minute. And he's going to hook up hot wire. And we want all those wireless devices that you have right now to just continue working, right? You don't want to go around having to change all them over to hot wire. So the technician will do it for you. And how he does it is he uses the same Wi-Fi information you have today. Same username, same passcode for your Wi-Fi. Anybody have a clue how you're gonna get that information, right? I'm gonna tell you. When you go home today, you're gonna pick up your remote control, you're gonna hit the voice remote, and you're gonna say Wi-Fi passcode. And up it's gonna come on your screen. You're gonna write that down. And you're gonna give that to the technician when he comes to your house. And he will make it the same Wi-Fi passcode so that when he leaves, your printers work, your iPads work, your laptops work, everything just continues on and works. All your wireless devices. So let's talk about your streaming. Your Netflix passcode, right? For those of us that were using our kids, that, that little party ended. Netflix took care of us about two weeks ago. Uh, so you have to give the technician what streaming services you're using, whether it's Netflix, Amazon Prime, the username and the passcode, and he will set all of those up for you. So when you hit your remote control and you say Netflix, and it takes you there, right? It's working, it doesn't ask you for that username and passcode. And for those of you that have never had to put one in, trust me, I thought my husband and I were gonna get divorced two weeks ago. I mean, neither one of us could spell worth a lick. And then every time you put it in, you put what you thought was the passcode, it comes back and says, nope, not valid, you have to start over. So even if you reset it, it's just very difficult. Let the technician do it when he's there, right? Uh, we'll be happy to do it. You just have to give him the usernames and passcodes. And he will set up in your guide all the streaming services that you currently use. And you can add more at a later time. And our vision educators will be more than happy to help you with that if need be. Uh, so you want to you wanna have that information, right? Your current Wi-Fi and passcode and your streaming services. So what's some of the benefits of going to Hotwire? So a couple of exciting things, in addition to the fiber optic, you're gonna get a great picture. Let me tell you that we don't share bandwidth with the internet. Your internet is a direct line to you. 300 over 300 is an amazing service. 98% of you don't need anything more than that. If you're still working at home, if you work at home, you are into high finance, you do stocks, you're one of those gamers, your grandchildren come and they play games on your computer, you may want to go higher into what up to gig. We provide gig service in this community. So you're gonna get an improved picture on demand. So we offer on demand just like Comcast, right? If you miss 60 minutes, you can go watch it on demand. Right? If you missed any program and it's on demand, you can just go watch it. The problem with Comcast is you have to watch the commercials, right? Yeah. Nothing worse. Yeah. Not with us, you can fast forward. The only way you can skip it with Comcast is to DVR it. Then you can fast forward the commercials. But if you're using on demand, it doesn't let you skip the commercials. We skip the commercials. Uh, replay TV. So how many times have you fallen asleep at night watching a movie and you wake up and you're in the middle of the next movie and you're looking at the TV thinking, who the heck are these people, <laughs> right? <laughs> and you wonder what happened to the program, right? Now you can back up up to 96 hours and watch the program and fast forward 
during the commercials, right? So it's the same thing with DVR, right? When you DVR a program, it starts, for example, I watch 60 Minutes, I have a DVR every week. It starts at seven o'clock, it ends at eight o'clock. Doesn't matter. There's always a football game on before <laughs> 60 minutes, always. So when I go to watch the program, there's 30 minutes of a football game, if I'm lucky. Then there's 30 minutes of 60 minutes and the tape ends. That's the end of your DVR. You don't get to see the end of it. Unless you have already DVR'd the next one. That's the only way to do that. So what I do with Hotwire is now you can just back it up and go watch 60 minutes and fast forward during the commercial. You know, you don't have to DVR. Interactive community portal. So one of the things our launch team is gonna work with your organization with is a community channel, right? Where everything can be announced. This meeting can be announced, things that are going on in the community, uh, all the fun, I was looking at all the great uh, organization and all the parties and food activities that are coming up. All of that can be put on your community portal and that will be set up for you once the installation is done. So let's talk about some Q and A's, right? So the first question is, will I receive a voice remote with every set top box? Yes. Yes. Will I have access to video on demand? Yes. Yes. Will Hotwire's DVR function, function like the DVR that I have today? Yes. Yes. Same DVR. Can I keep my existing email address even if it's with another provider? Yes. Yes, you can. Right? Even if it's Comcast. Can I keep my existing phone number if I decide to switch to Hotwire? Yes, you can. Can I keep my Wi-Fi username and passcode? We talked about that, right? You gotta have it because otherwise you're going to have to go around changing all your usernames and passcodes. So if you have not completed your consultation, there's two ways to schedule it today. You can call this number, this 561 number, or you can see one of my team members out in the hallway, and they will be happy to schedule an appointment with you for your consultation. Uh, if you have a problem or you leave here today, and we're gonna do a Q&A right after this, and you still have questions, right? They're burning through you and you just gotta know the answer. You can send an email. So every property has a, uh, every subdivision, every, you know, Hythe, Guildford has their own email address for Hotwire. So you'll see the yellow here. You put the name of your community. So it would be Hythe at Century Village at Hotwire communication.com or Guilford oh I said didn't I say Guilford do I speak Guilford how's it better Guilford at Century Village at Hotwire communication.com so you put your name of the community that you're in and then the rest of the same and you send us an email and I have to tell you that everyone in this room that's with Hotwire gets it and we're all responding, right? We're all jumping in, uh, happy to respond and uh, move forward. So let's talk about what happens after your installation. I missed that point. So remember I told you the technician's gonna take all your Comcast equipment, he's gonna disconnect it, he's gonna put it in a nice pile on your table, right? You're gonna take that equipment and you're gonna return it, what? After we install your service and everything is working, you're gonna call Comcast, you're gonna disconnect your service with Comcast, right? You're gonna be 100% with Hotwire, and you're going to return the equipment. So you can either return it to the Comcast store, or Comcast will give you a number, and you can take it to the UPS store. Usually they're right next door to Publix, you give them the number and they'll give you a receipt for returning your equipment. They'll be happy to do it for you. There's no charge. Uh, you're gonna get that receipt. 
and this is just personal experience, we're all ex-Comcast employees, you're gonna take that receipt, it's the last time you're ever gonna see it, because you're gonna put it someplace where you won't lose it, that's what you're gonna say, I'm gonna put this in a special place, and, you never so I, and you'll never see it again, never, you'll never find it, it's such a great place, you're, you know, 20 years from now when you move out, your kids will find it when they're cleaning the room. Look at this, there's that Comcast receipt. So you're gonna take a picture of it with your cell phone. That's the easiest thing to do. When you get, when and if you get a final bill from Comcast and it doesn't have any equipment on it, then you can delete the picture, you're good. But if they come back and they bill you for a piece of equipment, and I gotta tell you, you don't have a receipt, you ain't fighting with them, you ain't winning. They want their money. And they will bill you for that box and they will not adjust it. But if you have that receipt, that picture of that receipt, you send it to them, they'll take it right off your account. They're happy to. Uh, but if you don't have that receipt, and, and if, if you're like me, I'm telling you, you're gonna leave that place, you're gonna have that receipt, and you're gonna put it someplace where it's well hidden. I have a kitchen faucet right now that's broken and I'm looking for the receipt. <laughs> I'm looking. I said to my husband, I know exactly where that receipt is. No, no, not there. Not there. I'm still looking. So that's just my uh, yeah. personal opinion. So with that, we're going to collect any questions that you still have, and we're going to try to answer them. Write, write your question down, that way we can recite it to everybody. Because if you have that question, I bet everybody else does too. Number three. Number three, it's a winner. What if they need to change wires? They're wireless. There is no wires. No wires. We're gonna bring... Nope. Right now you have coax cable. We're going. So her question is, what if they have to change the wires? So we're gonna run wires into your house to hook up to this, right? We're going to install your Eero device, but all of your boxes are wireless. We do not need coax cable. So there's no replacing wires. Are you ready for more questions? I have saved movies. Can I transfer them to Hotwire? If you have movies on your current DVR, you will lose them. Sorry. There's no way to bring them back. What's the difference between Hotwire and Vision? There's no difference. Vision is our nom de plus. It's kind of like Xfinity Comcast. Right? Same thing. Vision Hotwire. I was told we can't cancel Comcast until January 1. That is not true. Your contract, so there's, excuse me, sorry. So your, this is important. Your contract for the included services that you get with Comcast ends on January 1, December 31st, right? The contract with Hotwire, again, for the included services, starts on January 1st, right? So it doesn't matter if you have disconnected your Hotwire, your Comcast service, right? You're still paying for Comcast every month, but now you're using Hotwire. We're not billing you. If you have additional services with Comcast, once you disconnect your account, You'll no longer get a bill individually for Comcast. If you have individual services with Hotwire, you'll pay for Hotwire. So don't confuse the what is included through the condominium group. Did I get that right? There you go. 
Question, 300 megs internet. Oh boy, I can't read this. 300 megs internet fiber optics. Something to get. How does that compare to what Xfinity provides now? Again, you need to talk to your, when you do your one-on-one -on -one consultation, they'll look at your current account with Xfinity and compare the two. So she, they want to know what does what we're giving them at Hotwire compare to what they have at Comcast. I, I can't answer that because I don't know what you have at Comcast. That's discussed during your consultation. So I can answer general questions here, but I can't answer your individual having to do with me, right? Uh, whatever products we purchase with Hotwire, how is the time frame for this pace? Price? Price. So if you sign up for a bundle, if you look at the rate sheet, if you signed up for a bundle, there's a year one rate, a year two rate, and there's a two year contract, right? If any other service does not have a contract. So the prices are all on the rate sheets. Can you use your own streaming if less costly? Of course. The only thing you want to be careful of is, right, we don't offer streaming services. So if you're playing Netflix for streaming, you're not going to pay us because we don't offer it, right? If you're streaming right now HBO Max and HBO is included through your condominiums, you want to cancel that HBO Max streaming once we've installed your service because you don't want to pay for that. You're paying through the monthly fees. So it depends on what you're doing. Again, that is more easily answered during your consultation. No commercials, what's the cost on on-demand? Regular on-demand is free, right? The only time that you pay for on-demand is if you're purchasing a movie, on-demand a movie. Will there be any in my condo other than what's I got it. small it is here read that what's it say the last one what is the communication when is the communication what's the cost of on to demand I don't know last one will there be any wires in my condo other than what what's plugged into the TV so we're going to bring wire in from the outside to the optical network terminal, right? We're going to push it through. This is the brains. This makes it all work. Your Eero device is going to be hardwired. All of your boxes that connect to your TV are wireless. They do not need coax cable. Right? They need electric from the wall to the box. From the box to the TV will be HDMI cords. And that makes it work. It's all wireless. Wi-Fi at the pool. Yes. Fernando says yes. Get his name. <laughs> How do I use... Uma. What is Uma? Uma's a telephone. Yeah, uh, it goes through the Uma system. Same thing. Same thing you do today. Right? Right now it plugs into the box. Same thing. You, which box would it plug into? The Eero. The Eero. The little yellow. Okay. okay. It looked like I knew what I was talking about. I got the answer from over there. Eero. <laughs> Hold on, you gotta let me answer these, and if you still have questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Will you connect DVD players, even those that require moving furniture? We're not gonna move furniture, people. We're not. It, it, we're not gonna remove furniture because it's too much of a liability, right? It, move what? It's wireless. On the stage. 
Oh, you're a DVD player. We're not going to disconnect it. Why would we disconnect it? Our box is wireless. Why would we disconnect your DVD player? Just put it on the stage. Yeah, no, you can continue doing your yoga on your DVD with no trouble at all. We're going to keep that working for you. It's not a problem. Is YouTube available free of charge? Yes. Yeah. Same thing as today, right? If you're watching you, if you're watching YouTube TV, that is a streaming service. If you're on regular YouTube, depends if you what you signed up for YouTube. If you have the free service, it's free. Does a remote have a sleep button? Good question. Come on, Fernando. Sleep button. Oh, there's our girl. She should know this. Sleep button. Well, it's, it's going to be on your TV setting. On your TV setting. Your, your, your vision educator will help you with that once we install your service. If the equipment goes bad, do I have to return it to Cypress Creek? No. We don't have any offices for you to return equipment. If you have to return equipment, right, we're going to come out to your home and replace it. Free of charge. Free of charge. Unless, unless. So listen, trouble calls or any problems where we have to roll a truck during launch, during the prop time that we're hooking everybody up, is free of charge. After that point in time, right, if it is a customer caused problem, then we bill you $50. If it is not a customer caused problem, then it's free of charge. So if we have to come out and change your remote, change your box, we just come out and do it. What's the response time? Oh, we're quick. The response time is in your contract, and that's part of the agreement. And I can tell you uh, that we want the rest of Century Village, right? We don't want just five there a year. We want you all. So I can tell you that if you are completely without service, I am pretty confident within 24 hours we're going to be beating on your door. Uh, if it's just a box, you know, depending on the day, the week, whatever, what time you report it, could be a little longer, but I can almost promise you that we're going to be quick. VIP, I have saved movies. Can I transfer them to Hotwire? No. What's the difference with, oh, did I answer this already? Yeah, I did. Look at that. So I think you still had a question. What was it? I do, but the time you ask me, I keep forgetting, so I write it down. Did you write it down? No. It's better if I explain myself than to try to... Okay, so I'm going to give her the mic. She has to explain herself. No, no, no. I don't well, everybody has to hear your question. Uh, the bottom line for me that I want to know, do I get the same or better services you that I have right now. So she wants to know, does she get the same or better services than she has right now? And the only way to determine that is to do your consultation where we can compare what you have right now to what you are getting. The only way to answer that question. I, I don't know what y'all are getting from Comcast and everybody is an individual. Right, so everybody's getting individual services our, from Comcast. Our Comcast included in the association fee. So you also will be included in the association Yes, fee. if you have money. no other services, that is what you're getting from us. You can compare the channels, whatever, to whatever your Comcast is. One more question, please. Uh, I see that you have all kind of networks. Now, I heard something you said that we're going to have a contest for two years? Only if you sign up for one of the bundles. If all you're getting is the included services, there's no charge. You won't get a separate bill from us. You'll only be billed through your association fees. You will never hear from Hotwire and there's no contract. So again, those questions are best answered for you individually, which is why we do one-on-one -on -one consultations. If you do your consultation and you still don't get an answer, send an email to that and I promise you one of us will respond to you. 
So with that, I'm going to end. This is saying, oh, we have more questions. That one's already been answered. Right now, I'm paying for the fastest Wi-Fi as I work at home. Again, consultation, right? We can discuss what you're doing right now, what you need, and any cost if you need to upgrade. How is the apartment wired? Okay, so I answered wiring. How much wiring are you gonna have in your house from hot wire? There you go, just coming in to the ONT. Everything else is wireless. Wireless, awesome. When will you have your consultation? Do I then need to call for installation or does Hotwire call me? Somebody tell me. You well, call them. They told me to call them. I mean, that we would be calling. That's right. We're going to call you to schedule your installation. Maybe before. It depends. Right now, it's the beginning of September. Right after Labor Day, we are scheduled to start installs here. How much is the fourth box? Can it work on a TV that's not a flat screen? So you can rent a fourth box. It's included on the rate sheet. I think it's $6.99. Somebody look at the rate sheet and tell me. Or your community also comes with a service called plug and play. So plug and play means you do not have to have a box on that TV but you only get about 26 channels. So I had a customer earlier today that has one of those little kitchen TVs that she plays when she's you know, cutting up onions and cooking dinner. Uh, she doesn't watch a lot of it, but she likes the local channels, she watches the news. I said to her, you don't need a box there, just use the plug and play. We'll come in and hardwire that right to the cable outlet that you're using right now so that you can get those 26 channels. Or if you have a, a separate bedroom that your guests come to visit and you don't necessarily want to put a box in there so they stay for six months during the winter, you just want to give them 26 channels so they don't stay long, right? Then you could just look up plug and play. You don't have to have another box. Totally up to you. Answer during your consultation. Uh, when is Comcast up? So tell me when Comcast is up. Oh, on a flat screen, on a TV that's not a flat screen. You have to have HDMI cables. So they're the, what do they look like? They, there's like little colored connections in the back of your TV and they plug into that. Or it's not coax, they're HDMI cables. That's an HDMI cable. Right. Well, you don't need them. We'll provide the RCA outlets if your TV can use it. If your TV cannot, then it will be plug and play or you will need to go out and Black Friday get yourself a new TV. <laughs> volume in the evening appears to be low and have to adjust volume to 60. Oh my God. I don't know if that's your Comcast or your TV. I don't know. We're going to have to wait till you get installed to find out what the problem is with that. Is there a checklist that techs will have when they come to schedule the installation? Well, I think they do. I mean, you know, they have a plan and they QC behind them. Fernando's team will come behind our technician and QC them in your home to make sure that everything was done up to hot wire specifications. Listen, we want to make this a great experience. Now, with that being said, is stuff gonna happen? Right, it's gonna, it's gonna happen. I hope it's not you, but it's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen, right? When you're installing 1,600 customers, something's gonna happen. That's why we're on site. Fernando's team's gonna have an office here. You have an email address. That phone number, that 561 number, will always hook you in. One of us is always gonna be around here during the day. Uh, our call center is open 24-7. Our goal 
is to fix quickly whatever goes wrong. I'm not going to tell you everything's going to be perfect, but we're going to move quickly because we're going to be on site here. Those technicians that are installing you are going to be on site, attached here, till the project is over with. How do we get Netflix transferred from Comcast? I, I, I don't know that answer. Do you know that answer? Where'd she go? Where's my little, there she is. How do they get Netflix transferred from Comcast? Do you know? Okay. So you're paying for Comcast in the bill. You're paying for Netflix in your bill when you sign. So you would have to get, would they have to get a new Netflix account? No. No? Who's answering that question? Who knows that answer? Do you know that answer, Fred? Netflix accounts are portable. You can take it in a car. You can take it to the beach. You don't need a separate account. Then you don't need a separate account. You just need your username and passcode. And Comcast will start That's billing right. you once you disconnect your service. Just make sure that you don't, they don't cancel your Netflix account. But that's Netflix is Comcast. It's Xfinity. You're adding Netflix. So she said you're, when you add Netflix, Comcast is just billing for them. That's right. You want to discontinue billing. You want to disconnect, discontinue billing for Netflix, but continue on. You may want to contact Netflix. That would be my suggestion. Again, I don't know. So if, the, if it starts in January and you start now to put those things. Don't confuse. The, the contract that we have is not with you and me. The contract that we have is with Century Village, Guilford, Hythe, yada, 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 and Hotwire to provide those included services and start billing Century Village, Guilford Height on January 1. It has nothing at all to do with you. You are going to continue, right, paying through your dues, the Comcast, even though you're on Hotwire. We're not billing for the included services, the community, till after January 1st. Don't get confused. We're gonna install you, I can't install 1,600 people on December 31st. Not gonna happen, right? We have to start installing, right? We have to get people on. If, if, so let's say that you're paying Comcast for internet right now. Let's just say, I'm paying Comcast for internet and you convert to Hotwire on September 10th, and all you take is the services that are included, right? Just the included. You didn't sign up for anything else. You call Comcast and you disconnect your Comcast service. You're not paying for internet anymore until you're because you, he said, why would I come? Because it is done by the Guilford Association. Those said, boxes and like you said before. Better speak. You said before. So his question you is, have nothing to do with us. You only talk to the people that run Guilford. You just said it yourself. So we are the, when you're going to take over, it's the same. We are the same here right now. So let me just let me just elaborate on that. His question is, why do I have to call Comcast when the contract is between Comcast and Guilford or Comcast and Height? Because when they set up those accounts at Comcast, even though the included services are contracted through the community, right, the, the condominiums, you have a separate account. And that equipment is in your name. And if you don't return that equipment and disconnect that Comcast account, they will bill you, not, the, not Guilford, they will bill you for that equipment.